Hello everybody, Sam here, engineer, MBA, and investor. And in today's video, I want to talk about this video clip from, of course, none other than billionaire Chamar. And I'm not even gonna pronounce his family name, I don't know how to pronounce it, but of course, uh, Chamar here made a, a statement in the, their latest video of the All In Podcast, which we reference many times in this channel. Just as a reminder, it's basically a bunch of billionaires getting together, talking about topics, subjects around the world, including science. They have always like a two, three, five minutes clip um, within their podcast where they talk about science breakthrough. And uh, let's take a look at what Chumat says about CRISPR. And I wanna, want you guys to take a look at this because there are a couple of gems hidden in there. Let's take a look. Science breakthrough of the year is that there is a 13 year old girl. This was you know, because of all of this fusion stuff, actually, we didn't even get to cover it because it happened in the same week. And I think this is infinitely more impressive and is an actual breakthrough, which is a 13-year-old girl in the United Kingdom who had a heretofore uncurable form of leukemia, T-cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia. So typically, you start in chemotherapy. If chemotherapy doesn't work, you move to bone marrow transplants. And it was uncurable. And a lab in the UK, basically using CRISPR, edited these transplant T cells to go in and wipe out her cancer. And now her cancer is literally undetectable. Now, if you bring up that capital asset pricing model again, Nick, what I'll tell you is the rate of return on a human life, in my opinion, is infinite. And so here is an unbelievable breakthrough that got very little attention because everybody was wrapped around the axle of fusion. It happened in the same week, so maybe it's understandable. I didn't understand it. But I think this is the single most important thing that happened in science, not just this year, but frankly, in the last decade. Because if you can actually now do base editing and eradicate, at least in this case, a blood-based cancer, and eventually we'll be able to bring that and use that towards solid state tumor cancers. It's a huge breakthrough in, in, in just human longevity and human quality of life. And, and that, that happened. I very much agree with Jamad here. So a couple of points, guys. First of all, he mentioned CRISPR, he mentioned base editing, he mentioned cancer-free, he mentioned leukemia. Of course, these are all keywords and all uh, all, all words that we actually described the news that happened last week with uh, Ali, I believe her name was. Um, of course, we covered that news, and it was a 13 years old girl that was potentially cured. We can't really say for sure yet, but it's potentially cured from leukemia. Of course, this was through base editing CRISPR, which shout out to Chamath for doing his homework here, mentioning not just CRISPR but also base editing which is really, really unique because it's one thing to know about CRISPR. It's another thing to sort of dwell, dive deep into it and understand the difference between base editors or uh, CRISPR-Cas9, ex vivo approach, for example, first gen from CRISPR Therapeutics, for example. Again, he didn't go in the companies, didn't go into specific details, so how we go in details in this channel, but of course, they have limited time. And he, I 100% agree with Chamad here. That news was overlooked by the public, I think I was like, I think I'm like one of the only YouTube channels covering that news. It's just crazy how amazing, amazing that news was. And unfortunately we had low exposure. And I think there's a couple of, couple of reasons that I would disagree with the fusion gen thing. I think it was had more to do with Christmas coming up. I think people were busy, stock markets tanking. Of course, you know, inflation, oil prices. I think all of those things are keeping people's minds busy. And I think people are overlooking to amazing science. And it goes back to yesterday's, I think it was yesterday's video where, or two, day, two days ago actually, we made a video about how, you know, when bull market is going good, everything's good. When the crash happens, everybody freaks out. And in a bear market, that's when the innovation happens. That's when people break through with science. That's when you see productivity grow with efficiency uh, because people be revolutionize ways to move forward, right? And that's what humanity is about, right? Technology is about that, right? CRISPR, I 100% agree with this. It was overlooked, and I'm really happy that a platform like the All In Podcast was able to mention it. Of course, shout out to Chamat, because previously to that clip, they were talking about Fusagen and that technology, how it was a big winner in 2022. But Chamat sort of you know, gave his uh, one-minute-ish speech there, which... Very, very much happy 
love what I'm seeing here, guys. This is how we become mainstream. This is how we become mainstream. This is how these CRISPR companies flourish out of this recession as we enter, move out of the bear market and potentially in 2023. I really believe there are good things coming. I'm really happy. Wanted to show you guys this clip. Of course, shout out to Alec here for uh, for giving us this clip here. Alec, of course, Park, Park Rand, of course, uh, member of this community and not the first time that he has mentioned a all-in podcast clip mentioned CRISPR. So thank you so much, Alec. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll end this video like this. Thank you. Like this video if you found value. Subscribe if you're not. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you guys think about Jamat mentioning CRISPR and base editors? Big news. Big times. 2023 was going to be fun. Thank you.